Harry Houdini Hardwick in the black with grey trim. Steve Diddy Kong aimable. Gentlemen, in the camo. first round, you ready? You ready? Let's go. Such of gloves and we are underway. Diddy Kong immediately starts off with the leg kick and Hardwick getting that lead hand working. He doesn't weigh around Hardwick, does he? Neither of these guys know <laughs> to be slow starters. Both have been in some absolute wars. Aimable, of course. You know, he earned the title shot against Mads Burnell a few years back. Didn't make weight for it, unfortunately. I believe it's the only time it's happened to him in the 26 fight pro career. But he still went three rounds with Burnell. Burnell could not finish him. Perry Goodwin couldn't finish him. The champ couldn't finish him. Harry Hardwick fancies his chances of being the first man to do so here tonight. Yeah, it was uh, a nice, nice featherweight, uh, amiable, aimable, sorry. Um, he's good and take, so I'd like to see him uh, in the clinch. He's not known for the clinch, but nice low kick from Hardwick. Got a very good win in July against Jeremy Peatley, who's a, a veteran of the UK scene. Also defeated the likes of Aiden Stephen, Decky McAleen, and Edward Walls, Walter Pugliandro. A big hit list for Steve Aimable. When you've been around that long in Cage Warriors, you're going to fight some big names, and he certainly has. I have to say, this is uh, only a minute and a half in, and the, the striking is uh, just taking up another notch from the other two fights. I think uh, the experience is shown here with these two boys. Nice crisp boxing. And it's hard to separate them so far. Yeah, th this has been the fight on the prelims, possibly, that uh, has been the most talked about. Huge, huge implications for the Cage Warriors featherweight division here. And huge implications for the, the Cage Warriors careers of both these guys. I think Aimable has just thrown that jab really nice. Well, those things He's are following nice, it in with uh, two more behind it. There we go. We would like to see him sit onto the right hand. Nice to there from Hardwick. Hardwick keeping up that relentless pace that he's known for. Aimable more than happy to accommodate it. Yeah, nice up a cut up the middle. Good clinch walk from Bolt. His knee. Nice little uppercut there on the break from Aimable, and he immediately goes back to work with the jab. Hardwick catches him with the lead left there, though, and catches him again. I think Aimable's oh, getting through here for Hardwick. Aimable on wobbly legs, takes one to the body there. Hardwick with the elbow. Aimable's definitely hurt. Usually, uh, then somebody will shoot for a clinch if they're wobbly or on wobbly legs. Well, this is where we talk about that veteran savvy, you know, as you say, Paul, he clearly was wobbled there and had the wherewithal about him to get in close and stop that barrage of strikes from Hardwick. Yeah, he just wants to clinch up here, slow things down for the next 30, 40 seconds, get his, uh, get his wits back about him and, um, and go again from there. But you've got to respect Hardwick here and pull him under pressure. Yeah, Hardwick going and aimable here like he has no intention of letting him out of this first round. He's got about 70 seconds to get the finish here. Nice knee. Beautiful timing there from aimable, but he's not going to complete the takedown. That's just Chris Box from Hardwick. Beautiful combinations from Hardwick here. Aimable in trouble, takes a big knee. Hardwick putting his hands behind his back there. Styling on Steve Aimable. Might not be the best advised game plan against <laughs> someone who, uh, of Aimable's level and experience, but... It's against, anyone, so. against anyone, really. <laughs> I would have liked him just to stay on the outside there and let some shots off rather than, you know, do the bit of show bump and just un you know, unload for the last 20 seconds. Yeah, Conor McGregor has a lot to answer for. <laughs> <laughs> this 
speaking to Conor McGregor, of course, was the Cage Warriors featherweight champion, and that's the belt both of these men have got designs on. You've got to think whoever has their hand raised in this one, they'll be in the back, and they'll be staying put watching the main event here tonight, Paul. Yeah. Shall... Okay, gentlemen, second round. You ready? You ready? Let's go. In the corner, Steve Amable giving advice there, and a nice left hook to start things off from Hardwick. Amable firing back with leg kicks, though. And this is really turning into a dogfight now, Paul. Same start from the, from the fourth round, just picked up exactly where we left off. I think Hardwick's just pipping him to the punch on everything. Nice one too by Aimable though, he's still very much in the fight, but he's going to have to find an answer to all these punches coming in from Hardwick. The left hand every time it's opened up a cut on Amable's face. Amable carrying a fair bit of scar tissue from his wars over yeah. the years. Well, it, it, you get that after 26 fights, but now he's knee to the body. I think that hurt him. I think that really hurt him. Look for Hardwick to go left hook up top and then left hook to the body. More combinations from Hardwick here. And Leon Roberts taking a close look at Steve Amable that. Right eye looks to be closing up now, Paul. Swelling shot. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad just yet. Again, it's obviously cool, but Hardwick receives that as a target now. Yeah, another three minutes of this from, from Hardwick, and it certainly will be. Nice teeth to the body, mixing things up. And Harry Houdini, Hardwick, making great headway in his mission to be the first man to stop Steve Amable here in Cage Warriors. Aimable catches him back with one now. And I picked a bad night to wear a white jacket, my friend. I'm in a white jacket. The blood's <laughs> flying here. It didn't go on you, Brad, did it? Oh, I got, I got splattered there. It's on the monitors here at Cage Side as well. I'm sure I can expense my dry cleaning, don't you worry. <laughs> We'll send it to Graham Boyle. Hardwick, though, finds himself on top position now for the first time in the fight. It's the first time we've seen them on the ground. And, and again, this could be good here for Steve Amable to just try and slow things down a little bit. Um, yeah, but if you're not on the bottom, you can't really slow things down too much. You've got to walk. I just think uh, Amable is he's going to give up his back here. It's just it's where he should have got the underhook. Because a nice body triangle now, I think he's going to sink the hips in, flatten them out. The main one going to try and shake him off, which really had to deal with a body triangle on. Cardwick's just lost the triangle. Corner calling for Emberball to, to grab Hardwick's head and, and just lever him off there, but. Hardwick doing a great job uh, uh, of staying on the back, and we know that Hardwick brothers have trained the next generation a fair bit uh, over recent years, so that back control, you know it's going to be on point. Yeah, but if you, I just uh, didn't want to cut across you there. It was really intelligent by Hardwick. Um, Aimable was framing. Hang on. He's not right under the chin there, but he, he may be able to get a big squeeze. Steve Aimable's going to be forced to defend here, and he's got... Just under there we go. seconds. I think he's going to get it. Hardwick looking for the big squeeze here. Leon Roberts taking a close look at this one. Aimable survives. Nice, very nice. But this is unbelievable control by Hardwick. And watch, watch him to do it again. Aimable's hands are touching the ground. And you see the way he's grabbing Aimable's hands himself? Aimable can't lift his own hands because Hardwick is keeping him there. So very intelligent, very intelligent, sorry, I should say, with Hardwick. Nice open palm slap, just to the side of the head, just to keep busy. And again, you know, Amable having to carry all the weight here as well. This has been fought at a high pace, as he just tries to clear those arms. And surely at this stage, Paul, it's just a case of surviving here in this round. Yeah, with 25 seconds left. I think Aimable is doing what he can here. 
keeping his back to the fence and where Hardy can't extend his hips. And there we go, nice. We can keep control of that right hand, pull it over to the opposite side of his head. And um, it just means Hardy can't actually get the choke. It doesn't mean you're getting Hardwick off your back. Oh, yeah, an attempt to almost drive the head of uh, Hardwick into the mat there. That would be perfectly legal if he's good to go. Of course he is. Okay, and look, we've, we've talked ready? about no one being able to finish Let's Steve Enbull and Cage Warriors. This is why this man is incredibly tough, incredibly durable. Yeah, look, there's no quit in Amable. You can see it. Um, I have seen guys quit and um, with somebody on the back like that. I looked for the easy way out. He didn't. He stayed in until the third round. So here he goes. And he's boxing his Chris Peer in the third. You know, we, we've seen him in back and forth wars. We've seen him in many, many three round slug fests. And we know he can go until that final bell. We're talking, I would say, a 10-8 round, maybe, almost certainly in, in that second round. So Aimable is going to have to look for the stoppage here, you would think. Yeah, I don't know which is with the 10-8 in that last round. It was our one-way traffic. Nice combination from Aimable there, though. You know, maybe this is frustrating Harbick a little bit, that he's not been able to get him out of there. And maybe that's where Aimable can capitalise. Certainly very much in this fight. He doesn't look um, fatigued or tired. Come on. Come on with that. <laughs> with this show, about I'd just like to see him do, do walk. Maybe get try to get the finish, but Harbick's come over his right eye here. Yeah, Aimable's opened him up with something there in this third round. Not a great position either in terms of that blood going into the eye. Oh, nice combination there yeah, a from Hardwick. Right top. Come around with a nice little check hook to follow. I just looked at just see him stay here. Right in that, right in that sweet spot. We got our arms length and just keep him on that cage. And we've got to be careful. The knee doesn't come up that left side. This one's certainly living up to billing. We knew it would be uh, something of a violent clash, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. You get two guys like Harry Hardwick and Steve Amable, neither of whom are aware of the concept of a reverse gear. <laughs> to the body there from Hardwick. This is the hard work. See this tight clean stuff where trying to get this control and on the hook, he's trying to fight for the same thing back. That's the bit that's tiresome. Getting stung again though is Steve Amable. They're both firing shots off here though. Trading punches centre of the cage. And the crowd here in London incredibly appreciative of the action they're seeing. Spinning back kick to the body from Hardwick. Like I said at the start, he just loves it, doesn't he? Yeah, we're going to have to start handing out the brass knuckles if someone wants to stop Steve Amable in the Cage Warriors cage. Here's more blood coming your way, Brad. Nice left hook to the head. And like I said, let's rip to the body. He's walking on that cut again. Looking to do it again. Still got a minute and a half to walk here. I think he's going to go big to the body. There we go. I think he's going to throw a knee. Aimable still firing back under heavy fire. Hardwick looking like he's having a world of fun in there. But he doesn't want to get caught. Just under a minute left to play with, and Steve Aimable is still. Slinging leather. Nice kick to the knee there from Hardwick. Mixing up the angles of attack here. Maybe slowing down ever so slightly. 
Has he ever been in a Barham Foy Hardwick? Absolutely not. Not to my knowledge, anyway. And I've been calling his fights for a long time since he was a champion on the BCMMA, which is now the Cage Warrior Southeast Academy on the regional scene. And he's in, he was in a bit of trouble the there fight. from a sloppy single leg entry, left his head on the outside. And if anyone were hard to get it in there, he could have, well, I won't say jump guard, but I mean, it's something. We've got 10 seconds here. I mean, these guys are going to get a standing ovation from the Indigo after this one, and as well they should. Yeah. Hardwick comfortably ahead on the scorecards there. What a fight. What a display of toughness from Steve Aimable, first of all. But what a performance from Harry Hardwick. Now, he talked about wanting to be the first guy to stop Steve Aimable. I'm not sure there's anyone on the roster who can. Now, but Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges' scores about 30-26. In favor of your winner, by way of unanimous decision, in the blue corner, Harry. 